Hi, I'm back with a new script for Reaper. Table Tracker allows it to import and continuously manage tracks in Reaper based on CSV tables encoded in plain UTF-8. We run the script, select our file, configure the settings, and boom, the full track structure appears almost immediately. And, spoiler alert, if our CSV changes, we can simply run the script again in order to update or even reorder the entire hierarchy. The idea, or necessity really, originated from voiceover sessions, in which I had the table with all lines and file names at my disposal, but still needed to create the whole structure in Reaper by hand. I figured it'll be a lot faster to simply use the existing tables and one simple idea turned into a super complex project later, here we are. But first things first. This is an example CSV file. Table Tracker builds hierarchies using track names and parent names. Track names are the names of the tracks that get created, while parent names are the names of their folder parents. This parenting allows us to build nested structures. Tanks, for example, has the parent vehicles and will become its subtrack. But it's also the parent of these three tracks, meaning it will become a folder containing them. Tracks without a parent will become the first folders of a hierarchy. Let's have a look at the available settings. Parent header name is the header name of the column containing the parent names. It's optional. If left empty, no parenting will happen and all tracks will be created on the same level. Track header name is the header name of the column containing the track names. Consider existing tracks will cause the script to check if some or all tracks within the CSV already exist and prevent duplicates. If turned off, the full track hierarchy will get created again, even if it already exists. Sort alphabetically has three modes. Zero will use the original table's order. One will sort alphabetically and two will sort reverse alphabetically. The neat thing is that the hierarchy can be resorted at any time. Delete non-matching manages how the script handles tracks that are not present within the CSV. For example, because we have added tracks into the project ourselves or simply because they got deleted from the CSV. It also comes with three modes. Zero will never delete tracks, one will delete all non-matching tracks that have no items on them and two will delete all non-matching tracks, including those with items on them. Due to the way Reaper sorts tracks internally, this might mess up the hierarchy a bit, but running the script again will fix it immediately. Finally, allow empty track names does what it says. It allows it to import tracks without a name into the hierarchy. This generally works, but will definitely cause issues when trying to re-import the table multiple times. And some more good stuff. Chances are that you'll usually use the same settings over and over again for a project, so I've implemented an additional script which runs Table Tracker with the settings of the previous run, avoiding tedious reconfiguration for every launch. To install Table Tracker, simply install the free Repack extension for Reaper, then go to Extensions, Repack, Import Repositories, and import the repository URL. Link in the description. I have again decided to release Table Tracker as pay what you want, so I hope you'll enjoy it and support me with whatever amount you see fit. And that's it for today. Thanks, and have a good one.